Lieutenant James Rhodes, Clackamas County Sheriff's Office. I'm going to give a brief statement and then introduce you to Sergeant Adam Phillips with the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office, and then we can take some questions at the end. Uh, just an update, we are almost finished searching the entire mall and uh, locating everybody and releasing them from the mall. Uh, the numbers are still the same. We know there are to be the shooters deceased, uh, two dead and one transported uh, to trauma. Additionally, um, I can confirm that the shooter is dead of a, uh, an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. Uh, by all accounts, there's no rounds fired by law enforcement in the mall today. No rounds, no rounds take all fired. questions at the end. No rounds fired by law enforcement today in the mall. Um, we, again, we are wrapping up uh, our search of the mall and releasing everybody to the scene. We have a lot of work to do as far as gathering witness statements and stuff before everybody's released from the scene. So I'm asking for family and friends to please still be a little patient before we get everybody released from the mall. And, and still, if you have questions, contact the sheriff's office. I'd like to introduce Sergeant Adam Phillips, the PIO for the sheriff's office. Uh, I've been in contact with the mall management. They have said that they are going to be posting information for businesses, employees, and customers who were uh, affected by this incident on their web page. You can find it on the internet. Uh, the mall is going to be remain closed for the rest of this evening, and as long as the police investigation goes on, it will remain closed as well. We do not have a timeline for that. People who have stuff left inside the mall, check the Clackamas Town Center webpage for information on how to get it back. Your property is secure tonight. The process will be developed on how to get that back to you. Uh, family members, once again, if you are still looking for somebody, be patient. Uh, with the two people deceased right now, their family members are being contacted currently. If you haven't been contacted soon, chances are your family member is not one of those people deceased tonight. The next press conference that we have and all future releases of information, any interviews, are going to be done at the Brooks Building, Clackamas County Sheriff's Offices. That address is 9101 Southeast Sunnybrook Boulevard. Uh, we have a joint information center there that the media will be able to broadcast from. And once again, all further information releases and interviews will be done there. At 8 o'clock, uh, Sheriff Roberts is going to be there for a live press conference. And now, open it up to questions. The assumption is that this is a random act. Do you think it's random? Any information about the actual investigation is not going to be appropriate to release right now. I wish I could answer those questions, but it just wouldn't be appropriate right now. I don't have, uh, I was not here. I don't know what they did. I know that we got many calls from 911. The Clackamas Town Center security guards and employees all did the appropriate things. I heard many people locked in place, many people ran. Those are the two most appropriate things to do in these circumstances. Can you tell us more about the two victims at all? I don't have any identifying information about them. Where was the shooter's body found? I don't have any information about the investigation at this point Where that I can the share. Body? That goes right to the same thing. I can't number give that information. Number of that number stayed the same as Lieutenant Rhodes mentioned. There was one person transported with an injury. That's a critical injury, but any minor injuries? I don't know. Were you, were you folks in contact with mall security watching it unfold on video camera? I do not have that information. How many people are still in the mall? There are still police officers inside the mall. We're being assisted by Oregon State Police, Portland Police, Milwaukee, Gladstone, Oregon City. Uh, federal law enforcement agents are also here assisting us. There's still many people inside the mall. As far as customers go, my understanding is that that number is dwindling consistently. Part of the thorough search means going into every room that we can get into to confirm that nobody is inside of it. Has the gunman's family been, uh, been contacted? Do you expect his name to be released at 8 o'clock? I doubt that it'll be released at 8 o'clock. Um, at some point, that information will be available. I don't know about 8 o'clock. Do you know the identity of the gun? I do not know it. What can you tell us about the gun? 
It was an adult male. How adult meaning twenties, thirties, forties? That's the extent of the information that I've been given. Was he wearing a mask? I don't have that information for you. Could you tell us how? The, if you're a witness to the incident, come to the Max Light Rail platform at the Clackamas Town Center. There are detectives standing by there, ready to interview you to take your information down. If for some reason you can't come there in person, call our non-emergency dispatch line, 503-655-8211. Lieutenant Rhodes said no shots were fired inside the mall. Were any shots fired outside the mall? Uh, I'm no shots were fired by law enforcement in this incident. Did the shooter shoot anybody outside the mall? Were they shooting outside? Have those details. Do you know if the shooter had any criminal record prior to this? I don't have any information about the shooter to share with anybody. You identify, has law enforcement identified the shooter? I do not know. Yeah. 8 o'clock, 9101 Southeast Sunnybrook. Media who are not familiar with it, once you go off air, I'll show you more information about how to get in there. Thank you. Okay, now you just listened in live to the latest news conference and hear what we've learned.